gonna show you guys my hair and skincare routine. So to be honest, I don't use that much products on my hair or even my face because the more products you use, the more buildup there is and the heavier your hair is. So I don't use a lot of products. This routine I've been using for the past couple months, but it hasn't been like a die hard routine because to be honest, my whole life I just used whatever my mom gave me. I didn't have like a strict hair routine, but I think I found one that I like, so I'm gonna show you guys. But also another tip for your hair is honestly don't wash it that much because it just strips away the natural oils, making your hair make more oils. So I haven't washed my hair in three days, so I'm about to hop in the shower and I'll show you the products I use when I get back. Wow, that was like magic. Pro tip, brush your hair before taking a shower so it comes out looking smooth. Pro tip, if your hair's wet, use a wet brush. So in the shower, I used this Kevin Murphy. Oh, this is my name. What? I've been using this wrong all along. I thought this was my shampoo and this is my conditioner, but they're opposite. So I've been putting them in the wrong order this whole time, but okay. So for shampoo, I use the Kevin Murphy Hydrate Me Wash. I love this. Like, this is a good shampoo. I had so much to say because I thought it was conditioner, so I thought it felt like a really light and nice instead of like a heavy conditioner, but it's shampoo, so that's why I felt like that. But this shampoo, I love. It just gives your hair so much moisture. Not heavy or anything, obviously. I guess it's a shampoo. And then for my conditioner, I use the Kevin Murphy Blonde Angel Conditioner. And I really like this because it keeps your hair looking nice and blonde, not brassy, for a long time. And yeah, I like them a lot. And after my shower, I usually put in like a type of oil on my hair. I don't have any right now, so I just brush it out with a wet brush. If you don't have a wet brush, you should see missing out, girl. This is like a miracle worker. I have like a really sensitive scalp, so when I was little, it took forever to brush my hair, and I would literally cry to my mom. <laughs> Cause when she pulled on my hair, it hurt so bad. But this thing is like works miracles. It takes me like five seconds to brush out my hair, and it doesn't hurt at all. So before I blow dry, I use this AG Hair Care Deflect Fast Dry Heat Protection. It's gonna focus. I feel like such a YouTuber. But yeah, this thing. This is what I love. Like I have really long thick hair, so this is like heat protection. So that's good. And it literally cuts your drying time at least in half. Like my hair dries so quick when I use this. So I am obsessed with it. It smells good too. So it's a win-win. I highly recommend this product. Like of all the products I use today, it's like a lifesaver. To dry my hair the first bit, I usually put it up in a towel. So there you go. That's the only stuff I use on my hair after like showers and stuff or else I only use dry shampoo. But like I said before, honestly, the less products you use is better or else your hair just gets weighed down and full of product. No, it's not good. Anyways, moving on to skincare, I usually just start off with an exfoliator so that your moisturizer can actually seep into your skin. I want to get a chemical one because I heard those are good for like exfoliating and I have lots of dead skin. It's kind of gross, but I get dry areas obviously, so I need to exfoliate those off. So I just have a cheap one right now. I have the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. And this works not bad. And then after that, I just, I'm really into Clinique. I really like all their products. If I have makeup on, I use their Take a Day Off Cleansing Balm. That is like the best makeup remover I've ever found. If you're looking for a gentle makeup remover but it literally takes everything off, I would get the cleansing balm. And then after that, I use Clinique Liquid Facial Soap in Mild. I've been using this for a while and I really like it. Highly, highly recommend. It's for combina dry combination skin, which is me. But they have other ones for the different types of skin. And I highly back up Clinique. And after I wash my face, I love to pop on the Clinique Moisture Surge. It keeps my skin hydrated all day and it feels so nice on. So I do this morning and night and it's been working so good. Pro tip, don't forget the neck. That's it for my hair and skincare routine. Now I usually just let my hair dry naturally so it doesn't get too much heat and over dried. But today, since I used my quick drying heat protectant, I'm just gonna dry my hair and go on with my day. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.